He's God all by himself. The everlasting, the everlasting, he is God. Besides him, there is no other. We thank God for that one heart and one way. And for God, way is perfect. A highway shall be in the way, it shall be called the way of holiness. So we thank God for that perfect way of holiness. He set for us to walk therein. We thank God for his forbearance of goodness and the mercy that led us unto repentance. Because without repenting, being God's sorrow for your sin, you'll never be saved. There's no salvation outside of repentance. And we thank God that the word is settled in heaven. And heaven earth passed away for his word will. And God magnified the word above all his name. So we thank God for giving us his word. A word that don't change. And we thank God for Jesus Christ. Being obedient to the death of the cross. Become sin for us who knew no sin. And we thank God for that. Without Jesus Christ, there will be no salvation today. Without his sacrifice, without his blood being shed, there will be no salvation for mankind today. It's just Jesus. It's all about Jesus. It ain't about nothing else or nobody else. It's all about Jesus. Not about your bishop, not about your apostle, your pastor, your elder. It's just Jesus. Because there are no other name given to him. Man must be saved but the name of Jesus. And we thank God for that wonderful name of Jesus. And we can call on, believe on, believe in, and obtain salvation. But we got to obey what Jesus told us in order to be saved. Because he get a whole go to them that obey him. And we thank God for doors that open no man can close, for doors he close no man can open. And we thank God for the wonderful money, money works and benefit he given to us all through Jesus Christ. And we'll say thank God for his truth. Sanctify them through the truth, thy word is true. As you taught and heard, truth is in Jesus. You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. So we thank God for knowing the truth and his freedom from the law of sin and death. We now have life through Jesus Christ. We thank God for you to radio listen, listen to this program today. Whatever you listen for, we thank God for you listening. Hear what the old babbler had to say, the old pestilent fellow. We're going to say what the scriptures say. We're not going to get outside God's holy and sanctified word. We thank God for brother and his wife today. We thank God for my grandsons being here today, Mr. Terrence and Mr. Willie. We thank God for nephew being here today in the studio. Once more, once again, we thank God for you. You may get mad, but that's all right, too. You ain't mad at me. You're mad at the Word. And the Word is God, so you're mad at God. Because we come here, man, to tell you what best for your soul. Tell you about salvation. What God requires and what God will allow, what God will not allow, what God do not require. God concerned about people's soul. God's in the salvation business. When Jesus said, I must be about my father's business, Jesus came to save us from our sin. Not in sin, not to sin, but from sin. Save us from lying. Save us from idolatry. We people are caught up in these days now. Especially this time of year. They're caught up in lies and idolatry. And all that is sin. And they claim that Jesus is in that. Trying to make my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the perfect man, a mental of sin. And God forbid that. Don't mention Jesus and all your fooling that you are doing, because he's not in it. What you're doing is sin. And if he's with you, then that makes him a mental of sin. Jesus is righteous. Jesus is pure. Jesus is perfect. Jesus is holy. Jesus is obedient. And we're going to have to be the same way to go in God's kingdom. We're hearing a lot of stuff today that's not true. But people... He said, my people love to have it so. You love folk tell you, it's all right to do this, it's all right to do that. Why, you, you, you recognizing Jesus. Jesus is pleased with that. But it's not so. Jesus wants total obedience, total righteousness. We got to follow Christ. And you can't follow Christ in disobedience and sin. We're going to get in God's holy and sanctified word today. But the word of God is right all by itself. Because people saying things today that not true, 
It's causing folk to err. It's deceiving people. Causing folk to sin and think that they are saved. Think that once they saved that they ain't got nothing to worry about. They can go back and sin and still be saved. Sin makes sinners. It don't make saints. Got folk believing when Jesus died on the cross, you forgive them all your sin, past, present, and future. Jesus forgive you for your past sin. But they want you to thank the life of you. But I don't repent it. God don't forgive me. So everything I do from then on, it really don't matter. It's covered under the blood. You've been told a bald face, devil sent lie to deceive you and to think that your sins are covered. Once you get forgiven from them, that's all your future sin. Because you're not supposed to sin anymore once you get saved from your sin. Because that's what Jesus came to do, save us from our sin. Not to sin, but from sin. And we get born again, born of God. He said, you sin not. They said, you sin a lot. But they're telling you all these things because they're sin of the devil. The devil have not sinned there, so you go out there and sin, and you think that you're all right with God. We're going to Acts 2 and 42. And they continue steadfast in the apostles' doctrine, fellowship and breaking of bread, and in prayer. See, this is what's going on today. We got a whole bunch of folks not steadfast in the apostles' doctrine. They're not following what the apostles wrote. And they got this from the apostle, which is Jesus Christ. So they ain't stuck fast, and they got their own doctrine. Going about stuff their own right, forgetting about the righteousness of God. They're not in sound doctrine, because they know people will not endure sound doctrine, which is the apostles' doctrine, so they give them their doctrine, the doctrine of devils. You can do this, you can do that, and it's still all right. But sound doctrine makes sound people. It make perfect people. It make obedient people to God's holy and sanctified word. But this is what people got them doing, following their doctrine, the doctrine of devils, and not the doctrine of the apostles. We got to be stuck fast in that. People saying they're apostles and telling the folk, if you kill yourself, you'll go to hell. That man is a bald-faced liar. Amen. I hope some of his members are listening today so they can tell them, Apostle Slayer said, you're a bald-faced liar. You is a false apostle. Transform yourself as an apostle of Jesus Christ. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus came, you might have life and have more abundantly. So why would Jesus put on you and tell you, if you kill yourself, you're going to heaven? The Bible says, thou shalt not kill. That includes yourself. Amen. You didn't give yourself life. You have no reason to take it. Because you didn't give it to you. So when you kill yourself, you commit murder. And you can't get forgiven for committing your suicide. Because the first thing you do, you say, Lord, forgive me, didn't kill yourself. He didn't forgive you. You didn't get forgiveness. Because you did it after you asked for forgiveness. Then you get forgiveness. If you do it before, you kill yourself, you don't get no forgiveness. But the devil is fooling folk. Got these old lying people out there, these old lying preachers. Out there telling folk that bald-faced lie. If you kill yourself, you still go to hell. The devil don't want to come to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus came, may have life and have more abundance. Why would Jesus want you to kill yourself? But this is what they're doing. Now we're going to prove that. We're going to prove that bald-faced lie. Coming that lying so-called apostle. The man is no apostle. He's an imposter, but he's not an apostle. He's not continuing stuff as an apostle doctor. He got the doctrine of devils. Because the devil wants you to kill yourself. He come to kill you. So he don't come to help you or give you life. We're going to Romans 3.25. We're going to start at 24th verse. Being justified freely by his grace through redemption, that is in Christ Jesus, who God has set forth with perpetuation through faith in his blood to claim his righteousness for the riches of sin that are past. Not present, not future, but past sin. Sin that is in your past. How can he give you, give you what you did in the future? And what you're going to do in the present? Your sin got to be past. 
you got to be able to commit to that sin. Amen. Then that forgiveness of that sin, and offer God forgive you for that sin. Lord, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to kill somebody. Forgive me, Lord. Mm -hmm. Oh, you ain't done it yet. But once you do it, you got to ask for forgiveness. You willfully sin And thank God going to forgive you for that. But these lying preachers are telling folk this. Amen. Kill yourself and you go to heaven. Amen. And God, when Jesus died on the cross, he gives you all your sin. Past, present, and future. But well, apostle doctrine do not say that. The apostle doctrine says for your past sin. He forgive you. Now let every man be a liar, but God, God be, be true. true. That false apostle is a liar. The one that told you past, future, your past, present, future sin is a liar. Because God's word is true. And we got the apostle doctrine. We got the word to bag us up what we are saying. But devil want folks to kill themselves. The devil, devil wants you to go and sin and think since you ask for forgiveness that you can go and sin all you want to. And you ain't got to worry about it no more. Well, they're all taken care of. Jesus took care of them on the cross. Yeah, he took care of our sin. Amen. Took our sin and them to his cross. cross. We can't say no, no sin. But we got to do what? Ask for forgiveness, fake, for, for, forsake our sin, to go and, what do you tell that woman? Sin. Go and sin no more. That's, the worst. That's the worst thing come upon you. He didn't tell her, go on and keep on sin. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't forgive you now. You, you go on and all your, all your future sins are taken care of. He said, sin no more. Mm -hmm. And sin no more means just that. But these false prophets out here, the devil got them out there big time. Lying and deceiving folk, calling folk to kill themselves, that they're going to be saved. Amen. But they, they sin, they can sin all they want to. Once they ask for forgiveness, and it's taken care of. But we thank God for knowing the truth. Amen. And no lies are the truth. We're going to 1 John 3 and 9. Whosoever born of God does not commit sin. He seed reigning in He cannot sin because he's born of God. Now, who's lying? You lying. God not lying. God's word is going to stand. Your word is going to hell with you. Telling folks all these lies. And they go out believing that you're a man of God when you a minister of Satan. and take their lives. We better get where the truth is. But somebody concerned about your soul. These men out there, they ain't concerned about your soul. They concerned about your pocketbook. All they want is a bunch of people up in there, pay for their home, pay for their cars, and they don't have to work. They're not saved. Blind leading the blind. All they going into the pit which is the lake of fire. God was it right all by itself. Amen. The scripture said, let no man deceive you. I mean, folk will deceive you and think you're right when you're wrong. That once, I guess once saved, always saved. Yeah, if you stay saved, yeah. <laughs> you always be saved. God saved you to stay saved. He sealed you to the day of redemption, but you can't unseal yourself. Seal not broken by God, but you can break the seal. God didn't leave you, but you left God. That's why he put backsliding in there. Because people backslide, they leave God, go back on God. Go back into sin. And you can't go back into sin and have no relationship with God. God don't even remember what you did for him. And you're going to kill yourself, and God's going to let you go into heaven, and you as a murderer, you murder your own self. We're going to Ezekiel 33rd chapter. Again, the word of the Lord came and said, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people. He said to them, When I bring a sword upon the land, if the people of the land make a man of their coast, set him for their watchman. If when he sees the sword come unto the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. See, this is what happened to the folk. Y'all send yourself a hireling. Now, hireling is not going to warn you to flee the wrath to come. The high are not going to tell you the truth. The high are not going to continue stuff faster than the apostle's doctrine. He's going to probably tell you smooth fool thing. Tell you you're saved when you're not saved. Tell you to repeat a prayer of repentance and you're saved. Instead of telling you what the scripture says, repent and be God to solve for your sin. 
God ain't put no repeat no prayer in front of it. Mm -hmm. He said, repent. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, repent. You should all likewise perish. Amen. God command men everywhere to repent. So that's it, plain and simple. You must repent mm -hmm. and be godly sorry in order to attain salvation. Without repenting, there is no salvation for you. Repeating a devil's lie, a false prophet lie, is not going to get you saved. Then whosoever hears the sound of the trumpet and take no, take no one, swore come and take him away. The blood shall be upon his own head. We got to warn the people. God said, warn them from me. So God got to speak to us, give us a message, get to the people, to warn the people, to flee the wrath to come. To come out there saying, quit sinning, quit being an idolatry, quit being an adulterer, quit being a liar, quit being a thief. He warned you. Because the wrath of God is going to children to disobedience. So we warn you to get filled with the Holy Ghost. We warn you to do what Jesus said do. Tear to you and do with power from on high. Not tell you the Holy Ghost already down here, but to tell you what Jesus said. Tell you what the apostles said. When people ain't continuing the apostles' doctrine, they'll tell you anything. See, man and the devil come for that lie. You don't have to tear anymore because the Holy Ghost already down here. But they can't show you nowhere in the Holy Scripture. No, they cannot. But they'll tell you that. That's the doctrine of devils. That's not the apostles' doctrine. That's not sound doctrine. That's not truth. They will not make you free from the law of sin and death. Holy Ghost, every time it comes, it comes straight from heaven. It comes from Jesus Christ. He said, the Father sent the Holy Ghost in my name. This is why you got to call upon his name in order to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Because the Father going to send it when you call his name. Not your name, not, not that old false prophet name, but you call on the name of Jesus. Thou shalt be saved. So when you call on the name of Jesus, he'll send the Holy Ghost. Once you see the Holy Ghost, you are saved. But these old false prophets, they don't have the apostle's doctrine. They don't have no understanding. They can't rightly abide the word of truth, so they tell you what the other one said. They get their own little saying and their own little click, and they all go along with it. But Paul went to see Peter to see if they were preaching the same thing. When Paul went to see Peter, they were preaching the same thing. Yes, when were. Paul was preaching to the Gentile, Peter was preaching to the Jew. Amen. And Paul said, we all speak the same Amen. thing. Amen. You can't speak the same thing unless called an anointing and sin of God. Amen. And you're sticking with the Holy Scripture. Amen. Get that fast in the Apostle's doctrine, you will speak the same thing. When folk get their own doctrine, get their own righteousness, get their own homemade saying, then they might say anything. They want to be highly esteemed among men and abomination to God. He said, He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood should be on him, but he that take it warning shall deliver his soul. But the wife seed the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, and the sword come and take any person from among them. He take he is taken away in, in his negative. He is taken away in his negative. His blood will I require what? Oh, watchman. Oh, you old hiding. The one that hired you to be a preacher. And you up there. You set yourself to be a preacher. And God ain't called and sent you and told you to do nothing. You calling all these folks to go to hell. And guess where you going? Same place. You going to the same place. You got blood on your hand. Once that person died in their sin, you can't bring them back. You don't warn folk to flee the wrath to come. Warn folk that need to be born again. Warn folk to repent. Be God to solve for their sin. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring their sin. Tarry. They've been doing power from on high. And that person don't do what you say. He do what you say. And don't do what the words say. What sound doctor say. And die in their sin. A lot of you preachers out there now. You got blood on your hand. Mm. You done lied to folk. You lied to folk. December 25th. You lied to folks January 1st. You lied to folks. And those folks die this year. Guess what's going to happen to you? You're going to hell. Because you lied to them. You had them celebrating a lie. You had them telling a lie. 
participating in a lie. Mm -hmm. That's why he said all liars shall depart in lake of fire. Amen. You don't find this food is in the apostles' doctrine. Why are you doing something that the apostles not, didn't do? You're not continuing to stuff as in the apostles' doctrine. That's what the apostles do. He do what the apostles did. Well, he, well, well, we, well, time. we learn that and we do that. We don't get caught up in what man is doing. We're not of the world. We've been chosen out of the world. Therefore, the world hates us because God has given us his word. And we're preaching the word, which is sound doctrine, and people hate you for telling them the truth. But as the wife and see the war come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the war come and take any person from among them, he take away in the nicotine, his blood will acquire at the watchman's hand. Hear that watchman? Hear that all oh, you want to be pastors? <laughs> people that hired you to be a pastor, you hear that? Hear what God going to require you? You got blood on the hand. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman over the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. See, God said, I got my watchman and you hired your watchman. Uh -huh. God watchman is going to warn them from the Lord. But the more hiding you hire, you hired your watchman, he going to let you die in your sin. But he going to die in his sins too. He got blood on his hand. Because he didn't warn you you had to be born again. Had to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Didn't warn you that you had to be perfect. As your father which is in heaven is perfect. No, he told you you can't be perfect. Mm -hmm. That's what he told you. He told you everything you're doing is celebrating Jesus' birthday. you honoring Jesus. You cannot honor Jesus in sin. In a doctrine. In a lie. Because you're not going to make my Jesus a minister of sin. Amen. God forbid that. Then when I said to a wicked, a wicked man, thou shalt surely die. If thou dost speak to warn the wicked from his way, the weak man shall die in his nicotine, but the blood will cry at thy hand. This is why we're warning the righteous and the wicked. This is why we tell you, wicked folk, you got to repent. You got to be born again. You can't be out there sinning and think you say. All this worldly stuff, you got to turn it loose. Because if you don't have the Spirit of Christ, you're none of here. And you can't get the Spirit of Christ unless you obey him. You've got to follow the instruction of the watchman that God give us the gift of you. we got to warn you that judgment day is coming. Mm -hmm. And you're going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ and you're going to be judged for everything you did in your body. But we don't want to warn the folk. We want to be friends with the folk. We want them to pay us every week. God going to pay you too. He's going to pay you with fire and brimstone. Amen. So nevertheless, that warn the wicked of a way to turn from it. If he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his nicotine. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Amen. We, warn, we warn you about this Christmas mess. We warn you about this New Year's mess. We don't warn you. Amen. We give you book, chapter, and verse. That's it. If you still go out and do it, all you preachers too, I don't live my, your blood ain't on my hand. You can talk about me and call me anything you want to, but I ain't like you. I ain't got blood dripping off my hand. My soul not in jeopardy. I'm all right with God. I done lived my soul because I warned you. And the warning came from Jesus Christ. Amen. Therefore, O thou son of man, speak in the house of Israel. Thus you speak, saying, If our transgression and our sin be upon us, we pine away in them, how should we then live? How you gonna live? You in sin. Pine away in your sin. And sin to sin. How you gonna live? You don't have Jesus, you don't have life. And all way you have Jesus, you gotta be had a righteousness of God through Jesus Christ. You can't be out there in a daughter and lying and all this and talking about you have life. Because you don't have Jesus. You dead and trespasses and sin. Because that's what you're committing. And the ways of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. And saying to them, as I live, said the Lord, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. But that the wicked should turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil way. But why will you die, O house of Israel? Why are you people died in your sin when you're being warned? The flee the wrath to come. 
You being warned to repent and be God's sorry for your sin. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And receive the present gift of the Holy Ghost. Speak in the tongue as the Spirit of God give you utter. Why you won't obey that? Why are you going to die being a Baptist when God said be holy? Why are you going to die being Pentecost when God said be holy? Why are you going to die being apostolic when God said be holy? Why are you going to die being a Muslim when God said be holy? Amen. Why are you going to die being a Catholic when God said be holy? Why are you going to die in your sin and your disobedience? Why are you going to die being a Presbyterian when God said be holy? Why are you going to die being a non denominator when God said be holy? Why are you going to die being an denominator when God said be holy? All that stuff is sin. Because of disobedience, because God didn't tell you to be that. But you're going to die being full of gospel when God said be holy. God is not changing. Amen. God is from everlasting to everlasting. He is holy. He is God. But you will not flee the wrath to come. You won't heed the warning. But once we tell you all these things, the blood is not required at our hand. Our soul is not in jeopardy. But these people have got you following all these food, doing all these things. Blood is on, if you die, blood is on, on their hands. And they're, they're going to get up when they die, they're gonna, their old body going to be laying out there rotting that soul in hell. Mm -hmm. Oh, they in a far better place. <laughs> hell ain't far better than here. Oh, they up there looking down. No, they down there looking up. Because they died in their sin. They died with blood on their hands. We got to obey God. And these folks not continue to fast in the apostle's doctrine. They got the doctrines of devils. Because you got the apostle doctrine, you got truth. And you're going to preach what's written in the word of God. Precept on precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. You're going to preach the truth to the people. So we thank God for your time. We thank God for your patience. Pray God bless you. One thing we want to say the same. We'll be back. If Jesus said, repent, and you shall all likewise perish. Amen. I got to stop hanging out with you. Both gonna be waiting on.